Hey guys, before we do the reaction, I want to talk about something that uh, no one ever talks about, but we should. Body hair and the groin. Right now we have the lawnmower 3.0 with us, and Shane, do you have anywhere that you need to shave? Maybe, yeah. not, maybe not the groin, but yeah. somewhere else? Yes! Shane, you could just use this. How's that feel? Baby smooth, eh? Good. Now imagine this, but you nuts. Get the lawnmower 3.0 and more over at manscaped.com. Use code word BLINDWAVE and get 20% off as well as free shipping. Now, back to the reaction. Hey guys, Crew Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. Shane. I'm Rick. I'm Aaron. Shane. We're back with Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Guys, last time on Brooklyn Nine-Nine, uh... Fat guy died. Yep. He did. Fat guys die all the time. Yeah. More frequently than little guys. Naturally? Or because they're murdered by their wife. Because fat man's a poison weapon. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you talking all this bags? 68. That's not that old. Yeah, but I was only 20. 20? Were you even a cop then? No, man. It was before I got into the academy. Oh, no. Bet. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes I, yes, I am. Yeah, oldest arrest, 68, like I said. God, you had sex with a 68-year-old when you were in your 20s? You know how it is. You have a chance to bet an older woman. No, that is not an older woman. That's an old woman. <laughs> <laughs> she was, actually. That's how I met her. Oh, 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 she had a replacement hip with some serious torque. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sex with a transformer. That is no one's fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> torque? Serious torque. Sergeant Jeffords, my office. Uh oh. He probably wants to talk to you about how your shirts aren't tight enough, probably. Yeah. <laughs> okay, have me help. Because he's the least likely to steal my thunder. I would never steal his thunder. I, I, I'd be afraid to borrow it. <laughs> <laughs> There was an incident after that. Wait, what? Another incident. You gotta cool it, man. <laughs> I'm gonna get some candy. <laughs> Shot him thing out of Hey, wanna hear it again? Idea for a novel. A mild-mannered doorman gets bitten on the penis by a radioactive spider and becomes the world's greatest lover. <laughs> no, don't stop it. I wanna hear what happens. This is terrific. He saves the first lady, if you must know. <laughs> Sounds compelling. Saves the first lady. Oh boy. Oh. Well, hello. All right. <clears throat> this one's all you, Tiger. Come on. 68 year old. <laughs> Police. Hey, ma'am. Thank God. Uh, here, hold this. The lasagna's burning. Okay. Um... Get the dog, but don't let it touch the baby. What? <laughs> oh. Hello, Peralta. Yeah. He's an all-state commercial guy. Oh, I can't believe you're just rolling over and giving my murderer away to the vulture. We call him the vulture because he swoops in and solves cases that are almost solved and takes the credit for himself. Yes, boy, I put that together from context. First of all, major crimes <laughs> has jurisdiction over I told you for weeks to use the squad, and you refused. I used them. I mean, Rose is the one who figured out the corkscrew, and Charles caught a dog. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Boyle. I'm walking over there extremely slowly. Not quite Jim Carrey. What was it? Six hours? That's because it was 98% solved. The last 2% are ours to get. That's why they leave it in the milk. What? <laughs> Sorry you got vultured. Happens to the best of us. On my count. One, two, three. I got it from here. <laughs> 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 Skim white chocolate macchiato for Charles? Yes. I got it from here. I used a gift card for that. <laughs> I just... What if you called him from a hospital and said his whole family is dead? Like he died of cancer. Charles, that is so dark. <laughs> I'm putting it down. Like this? 
No, Gina, we've been over this. Well, show me. Like, wrap your thick, muscular arms around me and... Mm. All right, look, chin forward. Hold on, my nose is just... Gina! Uh, when I lift my chin arm, the other hand feels unstable. Gina! That's eight! He did it! That was only seven. Bring air into your lungs like you've done your whole life. <laughs> oh my god. Guys! How do you breathe? I forgot how to breathe. Is it two in, one out? What if we wrap his motorcycle in plastic wrap and melt it with an air dryer? Little trick I learned in gift basket making class. <laughs> All right. Steal his kidney, burn down his house, replace his aloe tissues with regular tissues. Thank you, Charles. <laughs> he would have a cat in a cedar closet. He would have to own a cedar closet. He seems like he would. Uh, sneak into his apartment and burn popcorn in the microwave. Oh, that's good, <laughs> Charles. Uh, Scully asked for mashed potatoes, so I wrote that down. <laughs> well, I hate to say it, but I think by default, Charles' motorcycle idea is the winner. Yeah. There's a drugstore four blocks away. I'm on it. Oh, no. Scully traveling four blocks? That could take weeks. <laughs> 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 we're angry, we're getting revenge, we're a little bit tipsy, we should not be driving, we're taking the bus. I love the bus. <laughs> I love the bus. It's just the target looks exactly like a friend of mine. It's just freaking me out. You have a friend <laughs> who's just a silhouette. <laughs> yes. Let's all just count to a million. One, two, three, four, five, six. So then Iceman says, you can be my wingman any day. <laughs> <laughs> I have it. What happens next? Goose comes back, right? He's not really dead. Goose is gone. No. I know. All right, Goose is down. The husband had the affair. I'm always the victim. I don't want to be the victim. Okay, Charles is the door. No, I'll be the victim. Don't make me the door again. <laughs> door. Okay, I want in. But I only want to stab you. Fine. Charles, door. Right. <clears throat> okay, uh... <laughs> Sweetheart. Time to die. What if it was a magnetic corkscrew? If the corkscrew it's was It's still on in the, the trash magnet. in the chute. It's stuck halfway down the inside of the trash chute. I figured it out first. Oh, wow. What's happened? I figured it out first. <laughs> oh, I can't see far enough down. Someone's going to have to go down in there. Someone with narrow shoulders. Oh. No, I have broad shoulders. I have narrow hips, but broad shoulders. God. See oh. anything? I'm going to oh. drop them. No! Freeze! Hands in the air! No! We're cops! Broad shoulders! Stuck! Told you! Broad shoulders! <laughs> Apparently our detective squad has gotten drunk, compromised the crime scene, and an officer has gotten stuck in the trash. <laughs> I need you to lead the squad, Gary. Holt is gonna kill you. I don't think he will. Because... Voila! <laughs> you actually found the cold screw in the trash chute? Stuck to the side. Whoa! Oh! This is the proudest moment of my career. Oh! Oh. <laughs> it would have had to been one of them. It would have been up top. It would have been higher. Okay. <laughs> you would have been one of them. It's not your fault either. And it's not the vulture's fault. <clears throat> it's Amy's. I know, I know. It's mine. It's mine. Okay? <laughs> keep up the bad work, chat. Here it comes. <clears throat> Why does he keep touching my butt? Ultimately, it was our raw sexual chemistry that helped him overcome his crippling fear. You could join my dance troupe, Floorgasm. We're looking for a man of precisely your <laughs> <laughs> I need to go hug my baby girls. <laughs> Oop, time's up. Can't wait to see it. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, what? Check it out. Perfect, right? Yeah. Dear Vulture, enjoy <laughs> big white ass. Here you are. Always take the high road, Charles. The high Always road. Always take the high road. <laughs> nice. I really love that Gina helped push Terry to. Yeah. <laughs> they <laughs> used her annoying. Things and pushed him back into getting recertified. I Thank always, you. I was, I was always hoping the story would kind of go in the direction where he would rejoin the team. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, so yeah. story-wise, that's pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
-hmm. Yeah, I mean, we'll have to see, like, how much he gets involved in that kind of stuff, but I like the idea of him, like, leading them, you know? His yes. thing about, like, I'm trying to pay attention to my big grown-up kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. so, is it having kids that got him nervous in the first place? Like, he was worried mm -hmm. about dying and leaving them alone? And that's what resulted in him shooting the mannequins? Because, like... Yeah, once he had his kids, he got nervous about the idea of leaving them alone. Yeah. And that incident freaked him out, and then obviously he tried to go back, and then he shot a pinata. Yeah. And that freaked him out again, so he allowed a certification to expire no, and I don't think, mainly behind a desk. I don't think he went back, right? I, I don't know. I, I thought it was in the same place. I thought he had an incident. Yeah. And they just talked about that incident. He never spoke about that same time they kept trying to go on, and he shot sure. a pinata too, you know? Yeah. But maybe no. Maybe he tried to go back and... I think it was a separate one. I don't know. I guess just because that one had its lights on as opposed to the other, but I might be wrong. Either way, I mean, it's the same, same difference. Uh, you know, he just... He was afraid of leaving his his wife and his kids alone by being on the street and it just freaked him out to the point where he's, you know, he doesn't feel like he can make good decisions. Seems like he's be seeing the shrink. I, th I think that they probably, after every shooting incident, they usually have to see shrinks, right? I would uh, something like that, yeah. yeah. I don't know if that counts when it's a mannequin, but still. <clears throat> or a pinata. <laughs> it's so funny, Jay's like, I gotta get the candy. <laughs> I mean, of course, there's candy in the pinata. Yeah, just like money in the banana stand. I love the cold open on this one. The, We're talking about the, how much, the oldest bag they've gotten. Yeah, the oldest arrest they've ever had. In, ah, 68. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Wait, why does he sound like that? I don't know. Why does he? That's what he sounds like. No, it's not. <laughs> ah, it's 20 years old. He's got some serious torque. He sounds like the Transformer. He didn't say, he doesn't sound like that. No, it's fantasy. <laughs> I love the Transformer line. That was great. Yeah, that was good. Who was uh, the, the older, fatter, crappier detective again? Who was like, out of breath? Hitchcock? <laughs> yeah. Was it Hitchcock? Uh, that was uh, Scully. Scully? Hitchcock is the one that was, like, giving the bad... <laughs> it's still in the body. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna take weeks. And he's just like... <laughs> I'm, surprised, so funny. I'm surprised we didn't see him again because they got on the bus, the bus and they left him. They right? left him. They did. Yeah. He's probably still walking somewhere. <laughs> Drunk? Yeah. I thought it was enjoyable all having them team up that would do something. Yeah. Well, they had this outside force. Yeah, I guess the common enemy. Mm -hmm. yeah. The vulture. I well, and that was the big thing, too, was Peralta didn't want to involve them, right? Yeah. I mean, maybe if he's joining the team, maybe they'll have more of those. Instead of it having to be a common enemy, the common, common enemy can be someone murdered somebody. Yeah. Let's catch him. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, Jake, he says it like his favorite movie is Die Hard. Like, he is about being the lone wolf officer, so he's been trying to work this case himself and that's why major crimes took over because it was taking so long because they said like the mayor or whatever was really wanting to know what's going on with this case so yeah when the case him up. doing it by himself because he he's a fan of those lone wolf detectives or whatever as opposed to the nancy drew stuff <laughs> with uh boyle she was a lone wolf too though wasn't she i don't know i've never read i don't, nancy I don't, I don't know anything of nancy drew this is what i assume i watched i just mean like in terms of like too. what do you want to be when you grow up he watched Die Hard and wanted to be the detective that does everything on his own. He didn't watch Die Hard 3. He didn't. Probably good. Yeah. Or 5. What? Live free or Die Hard. Justin DeLong. I love that they just have no. like Andy Richter in here just for like one shot. That's what I said. Or live free or Die Hard. Oh, okay. Did you guys at all, whenever you thought about what was happening, like usually a guest star, like the most famous person is the, the, the villain or whatever. Mm -hmm. But Andy Richter is the doorman here for like... Two, like one scene, two, four shots, and then he's just gone. Yeah. I just love that. He's just probably on the lot. Like, you want to do something? Like, yeah, sure. What am I doing? And I'll give you a couple lines. That's, I, I like when they do that kind of stuff, yeah. though. I like this little uh, <laughs> radioactive spider bites my penis. <laughs> yeah. Becomes the world's greatest lover. Like, what? He says he's the first lady. <laughs> uh, it's either Andy Richter or one of his brothers from Rust Development. Doesn't he have like seven brothers? Yeah. They should like that, yeah. 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 How long did it take me to get that? Six hours? Yeah, it was 98% soft. Well, the 2% is the hardest. That's why they leave it in, the, leave in the, the milk. milk. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the best lines of the whole thing. Yeah. It's just so goddamn clever. Yeah. But <laughs> you wish that you would think of that and then also have the opportunity to say it. Yeah. You know? But they have skim milk, right? Isn't yeah. that like, there's skim, there's 2%, there's whole, right? Yeah. Yeah. And skim has no percent. It has like 1%, doesn't it? I don't know. It's just water. No, there's 1% and there's... Oh, what is it? There's like skim, there's 1%, one, two... skim, right? I, I thought they were the same thing. I don't know. I don't know. Is there a 1%? There definitely I thought is a 1%. It's a white cap one. I got old. It's a 1%, yeah. I grew I up with 2% about, I hear about my all the time. entire life. Oh, it's almost 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%. 
What's that? So they're always talking about the one percent. What's whole milk? Is that hundred percent? It's gotta be hundred. That's how I used to think, but it's not. Because <laughs> I was always like, why do you go from whole to two? Why is it like a fifty? <laughs> yeah, right. But I mean, no, it's like two no, is a whole number. So. And then there's raw milk. Why well, that's always whole milk? Is, is raw milk always whole milk? Yeah, that's unpasteurized. But whole milk's not always raw milk. So, I don't think there's a so, way to extract if, the fat and keep it raw. I so, don't know. so is raw milk 100%? Yes. So whole milk's 100%? No. No. I mean, what, what I meant was... <laughs> I mean, raw milk is whole... Okay. I didn't say... <laughs> what I meant was raw milk is always whole, but it's not 100%. Milk. Leave the 100% out. They're all whole milk. They're all whole milk. There's pasteurized and then there's not pasteurized. Yeah. Pasteurized, it's been boiled and uh, all the little... And, and fortified. Have you, have you ever had raw, raw milk, Aaron? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I had. Whew. It's creamier. They're not allowed to sell it. I don't know why. They, they can't... Uh, they, they sell it as uh, pet milk. Well, they're not allowed to sell it. At farmer's markets. So the people just drink it. Consumptions. They're not yeah. supposed to. I mean, yeah, kids who drink raw milk but it has, has less sick days and they, and they perform higher proficiency tests and everything else. Hmm. But yeah, no, I've had raw milk before. There's Good. a strange amount of, like, workplace harassment in this show. Especially with the vulture. You mean, like, the slap well, of the ass? Yeah, uh, with her, but also with the woman with Terry. Like, yeah. Gina? Wrap your big arms around me. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, Holt recognized that Gina would push him yeah. to the point of breaking point. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> and I yeah. absolutely love the vulture kicking in the door, like, yeah! <laughs> Ready? Three, two, I've got this! And you think, wow. Wow. With a gun? That was really funny. Tara! Roy Jenkins. I got this. I used a gift card. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, that was um, uh, Officer Pembroke, I think. Yeah. Detective Pembroke. Yeah. Major crimes. Yeah. The Vulture. Isn't every crime major? I think it's like major, like a military rank. It's like Major Kane. Major, major crimes? I don't think that's yeah. what it is. It's just for like the high profile cases. Oh, so he's not major crimes? Who? Vulture? Yeah. No, Major Crimes is like the organization of it. Oh, okay. You know I'm saying it's, it's like the 99th Prince <laughs> Precinct, and then they're getting taken over by Major yeah. Crimes comes in. Yeah, Major Crimes is like a division. Okay. It's like um, it's not like the precinct gave him well, a nickname of Major it's like Crimes. SBU. I, I thought one of his many nicknames was Major Crimes. So he's Major <laughs> Crimes, and he's the Vulture, and he's Detective <laughs> Pembroke. No, it's like uh, it's like whenever like an SVU, whenever there's something like sexual in nature, they turn over from whatever precinct it's in to the SVU. So that was the opposite of it. But why don't they turn it over to major crimes? Because shouldn't that be a major crime? What? The stuff they're turning over to SVU. No. Special, special victims aren't major crimes? Well, those tra those officers have been trained specifically to deal with victims. Not a lot of cops deal with victims. Yeah. They usually deal with the aftermath. aftermath. Yeah, I was just curious on like what they constitute as a major crime. I just think, think it's... Like, I think it's something like um, like because like the mayor or like something like that. It's like something that needs more attention than it, than resources can give. Jake mm -hmm. screwed it up by not using the resources of the precinct, and that's what gives major crimes its jurisdiction. It's like, well, you're not being able to solve it. We're going to come in because this is a high profile case without being solved. Mm -hmm. I think Ma major crimes, is. not a person. Yeah. <laughs> I like how you thought it was a you person. You thought it was his name? I did. You thought that was his rank? Yeah. <laughs> Pembroke Crimes? Well, when they first said it, I'm like, man, that's a really cheesy name. <laughs> no, I thought it was. Last like, name is Crimes? I thought they talk about jurisdiction and stuff, too, so that's why I thought. <laughs> but I just, I just said, like, so when's it become a major crime? Is it when, like, someone steals something? When someone kills someone? Is it like, why don't they just call them homicide? I don't know. I was like, why, why is there a major crime? So, um, I have my assumption, but I should look it up. Is there always major crimes, or is that just what they use for this? I like the Hitchcock of this group. She's bad detective. It's still in the body. So they would have found that, you idiot. But I like that they're like, at the same time, it's just giving off as many ideas of where could this thing be. Out the window. In the trash chute. In the body. You know, like... It's an elite investigative unit, which investigates cases that are mostly high profile in nature. So it's just like the best of the best whenever they need somebody to really solve something, I guess. I would put them so on there. So it's like, you gotta like... You got like your, your street level Marvel stuff, right? Like Daredevil yeah. will handle that. But when you yeah. when you have fucking aliens, you gotta get the Avengers. Out. Yeah, but I, like I wouldn't want fucking. I, all right, I'm gonna get the Defenders to fight the aliens, and then when they can't do it, then I'll call in the big people. Like yeah. put the big people in there first. You know what I mean? Thinking about having like Defenders in every block, and then the, those guys only go to certain blocks 
as it comes, as the aliens come. I guess. Okay. Does it, it make sense though? It might work, I guess. I've dumbed it down to an eight year old level. Eight year old. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Brooklyn Nine Nine. If you want to see the next reaction, you can go to patreoncom blindwave. Watch it right now. You can also check out full length over at uh, our website and a whole lot of other things. Just go on, go on over there, blindwave.net. How old would be too old? That's not a question. Want to be on the phone?